Um, okay, so the next level down is the service engine. The services can be invoked through a few, typically through a few places. There is uh, an event can be implemented either as a Java method, so we see this error, error, uh, arrow going down here, or an event can be implemented as a service, which just results in a service call. Um, in that case, the uh, input parameters, the request parameters, will be mapped to the input attributes in the service definition, and it does that automatically, does the data conversions, and so on automatically. When a service is run, this is kind of the central logic management tool in the Open for Business framework. Uh, it triggers various events. These events, uh, or you can associate rules with these events, we call them ECA rules, which stands for uh, Event Condition Action. This is one variety of rule that you'll see in, uh, in uh, general rule engine literature. This is very different from um, uh, prolog style rules with uh, an inferencing engine. This is very much a, uh, a system or business event uh, related uh, rule system. And what it allows us to do is associate these rules with um, events that are happening as services are executed. And then based on conditions in the ECA rule, if all of the conditions are true, then all of the actions in the ECA rule will be run, and those actions are services as well. So in this way, you can attach things to um, other services to form uh, higher level business processes. Some examples of this that are in the uh, OFBiz applications are, uh, for example, when a, a shipment, when the status on a shipment is set to packed, then we know that uh, we can prepare the invoice. And so that triggers the order completion and the invoice creation based on that. Um, then there is, so that's one kind of step in a higher level process. Another step in a higher level, and, and in that case, the ECA rule does not care how uh, the status is set. It could be set by a user um, submitting a form that um, calls an event that results in the service call, or it could be some other custom logic that does the service call. Either way, the same service will be run, and the ECA rule will trigger to uh, get these other processes started. A service, uh, so the service definitions are in uh, XML files, and we'll see some service definitions later. A service can be implemented in various ways. We have about a dozen different ways to implement services. Um, when you're calling a service, you don't care how the service is implemented or where it's located. And so all of that information is contained in the service definition, and it can point to either a Java method, a simple method. It could point to a workflow or various other things. When you're calling a service, you can tell it to call synchronously or asynchronously. And uh, when called asynchronously, it can be in memory or it can be, the call can be persisted to the database so that uh, even if the server goes down, that service is guaranteed to run. Um, so it has a, a number of features like that to help uh, handle common uh, logic invocation needs in an enterprise application. Uh, there's even a, a service scheduler that will call a service on a schedule and um, various other features there. And so, um, uh, basically, so different ways of implementing a service, uh, a Java method and a simple method. A Java method is basically just a static Java method that has a, a map coming in plus a, a context with some information about the service engine and the related entity engine and so on, um, and the security context. And uh, so then it will have a map of input parameters, and it will return a map with the results. And that map will then be returned uh, to whatever invoked the service. Uh, the request or uh, the action in the screen that's uh, calling the service to prepare the data, and that can use it in, in whatever way whatever way the application needs or calls for. Uh, so another way of implementing a service is with a simple method. Uh, the simple method is meant to be an alternative way of writing logic and is optimized for um, data validation and data mapping, moving data around doing uh, general database interactions, so taking uh, information that's coming into the service call and putting it, in, it, it into the database, um, logic that does uh, validation to verify the data coming in, as well as um, calling other services and uh, these sorts of things that the simple methods are very good for. For certain more complex processes and such, the simple methods do become difficult, although um, they have been very effectively applied in the Open for Business project to uh, more complex routines like uh, inventory reservation 
and um, uh, and also data preparation for reporting and other things like that uh, ha has been uh, very successfully done using the simple methods. These tend to be significantly more concise, uh, especially for certain types of code compared to writing them in Java. Um, they typically have uh, anywhere from uh, uh, two to five lines in Java for a single line in a simple method.